Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Loot Code. In this video, we are going to learn how to handle multiple environments um, for our Playwright framework. And of course, we are going to achieve that with two packages. First one is the .env and second one is cross environment, cross-env. Okay. So I will tell you why we need two um, packages for this example. Okay. So first of all, let's go and uh, do the installation. I already believe you know like in testing, of course, we have multiple environments like prod, test, um staging or integration right so we'll write the script only once and uh based on the test data or the test environment url uh we have to do the configuration right so let's take a look on that so first of all in my package.json um i mean from the terminal i'm going to install this command that is npm install dot net dot env dash dash save so it will store uh the packages in the dot environment i mean in the dependency folder in the dependencies okay so um yeah that's it okay so we have installed the dot env and the version is 16.0.1 okay now to make use of dot env of course we have to create the dot env file okay so here you can see like we have like dot uh, env dot test file so this is for my test environment and this is for my prod environment and this is for my development environment okay so the key and the value right so the key will be same across all your environment files but the value will be changed based on the environment for example here you can see the base url is uh, dev.letco.in and here we have like prod.letco.in similarly for the test okay and of course i do not have multiple environment to show you the demo i will show you with one example and console logs okay but yeah the concept is very much same okay so here this is the format we have to create like dot env then followed by the uh, environment name production development staging qa1 qa2 like whatever you have you can of course create those files and as many as you want but make sure all the keys in all the files are going to be same and mostly we write this in the upper upper case but of course you can play with it there is no restriction but mostly all the developers used to uh, keep the name as in upper case okay now let's understand the basic like how to use this .env file okay so within the test folder we have a like test.ts file right so i'm going to comment all this code which is not required for this example and here we'll just give the go to okay so here i'm going to say like um, process then followed by dot env and then followed by base url right so here i can say like base underscore url and of course it's a case sensitivity uh, so make sure you're going to give the same okay and here we are getting something like compile time issue but that's not a big deal it will work uh, to avoid this issue as well we have a solution in typescript not sure about the javascript i think javascript it won't tell any kind of compile time that's not actually an issue okay but uh, like it looks ugly okay but if you try to execute of course it will execute okay so let's go and see how to execute this okay so i'm going to navigate to my uh, config file and here of course we have the test slash test.ts within the test match and that is my test file name okay i'm going to bring up my terminal and then i'm going to say like um yeah so here we are calling this process.environment.base url right but how to get this base url like we have three environment file so we have to get it from any one of the file right so for that we are using this package called dot env so here first of all i'll say like import um then i'll select dot env and it's going to be from dot env okay so that's it very simple now here we have to select dot uh env dot config and within the config we have to give the file path okay so here i can select path and then followed by i'm going to use the back ticks okay and here i'm going to select dot env dot test okay so here it's like um dot nb dot test right so i'm going to give the same path here okay then i'm going to say like npm uh test that should bring the data from the dot env file okay and um okay so here's some error let me go and change this in my package.json i'm going to remove this I'll show you that changes like why we have this changes. I will tell you in a moment. Okay, so basically, like we have like test and then for the npx playwright test, right? So that should uh, 
execute the test and of course it's going to take it from the .env file and here we have the base url right so it's going to open that particular url which okay it got closed uh, yeah i'm going to give some console logs as well so here i'm going to say like console log and then i'm going to say like process okay so here it's like username and then followed by the password okay so let's go and bring this run one more time Okay, so here you can see like it loaded the website with letcode.in um, and uh, if you see the console logs you can see like here we are getting like uh, cost and then followed by big bang t but if i go to my .env.test file here you can see like we have like test.admin test.password right why this is happening in the sense like this process.environment will take it from the global um, but this is kind of like my local right so what we have to do is we have to override those things okay so for that here i can say like override and then i can make it like true okay so what will happen in the sense like instead of taking it from my global uh, environment it will take it from the file path i have specified okay so here you can select it loaded the let code dot in and it should close now okay and here you can see like we got like test.admin test.password right so we got exactly the same thing now if i change this to like something like prod what will happen in the sense like uh, now it will get the data from my dot env dot prod file okay of course the script is going to fail because we don't have that url like prod dot let go dot in but we can make we can see the uh, details in the console okay so uh, here you can see like prod dot let go dot in prod dot admin prod dot password so what's the learning here we'll have all our keys uh, across all the environment files and based on that the values is going to be fetched okay that's it but of course we are not going to change this here every time right so we have to find a way to execute this okay and also uh we do we really don't have to say like dot dot uh, dot net dot config and we have to write some if condition to uh check based on the file path we have to execute okay so instead of writing all this in the test file what we can do is we can create a utility okay so within the ut utils folder i'm going to say like um, environment dot ts file and here i'm going to create a class like export uh, default class and i'm going to name it like environment okay and here we'll keep all our environment keys okay so i can say like public static then followed by uh, what we have here let me copy this very quickly okay and here i'm going to say like process dot env dot uh, base underscore url okay so similarly i'm going to make it for like username and this is going to be for my password okay that's it okay so we have given like all our string all our keys in a class file now i can simply go to my test file and i don't need this here i am going to remove that not the import statement as well and here i'm going to import like uh, the environment file ts file which i created now okay so here i'm going to say like from uh, dot, dot dot slash dot dot slash and then followed by a service slash sorry src slash util slash environment okay and here instead of this guy right so i can simply say like uh, env dot base url env dot username use env dot password okay and here also the same thing i'm going to remove this okay why we are doing in the sense like we don't want to use if conditions or the import of dot nv in across all the files uh, but uh, what we can do is we can simplify that like we will create the environment ts class file and we can call it from the static uh, variables okay now how to of course we have to say like we have to use this environment and that environment right so for that i'm going to use one more concept global setup okay so here i'm going to create a file called global setup dot ts file 
okay and within the global setup uh, we have to do some export let me copy paste okay so this is similar to your global tier down that we already discussed in one of our video right so basically we have a function called global setup and we have to export that function right and here i'm going to do some changes okay so here first of all we have to say like import uh, dot env from um, dot env uh, not yeah okay and then here we are going to write the if condition okay so for example if i say like if um, process dot environment dot uh, test underscore environment okay so test underscore environment is the value that we are going to create okay this is not existing from dot nv or your uh, process it's basically we are going to set the value i will tell you more in detail okay so first of all here we'll say like dot tnv dot config and of course we have to set the path here uh, which is going to be something and of course we want to overwrite because there might be some variables which will be already set uh, by the some process or some kind of software so we want to overwrite so that whatever the data we have in our file we will get that okay and here is the learning uh, watch it carefully okay so here i am going to select dot env which is path basically we are trying to spe specify dot env sends like this path after that we have like development we have prod we have test right so for that i am going to use this dot and then the string interpolation so here i am going to say like process dot environment dot this thing okay yeah just okay now what is this so what is this actually okay let me explain that as well here okay so before that you have to do one more changes so in your config file here we have to select global setup and then we have to specify the file path of this global setup okay i'm going to copy the file path and i'm going to paste it here i'm going to change this to the slash okay that's it we are pretty much done here right now let's go to the test so here you can select we have console log with process uh, not process sorry the environment dot base here invert dot username environment dot password and what is this environment in the sense like this is just a class which will have static value okay and if you go to the global setup here we are using the dot net uh, dot env and we are checking like based on the test environment it's going to take the file for example this test underscore env is going to be test so what will happen in the sense like dot env dot then of course this is going to return me the test right so it will be like dot env dot test which is this file from here it is going to take all the values based on the keys we have used here okay that's it very simple concept now let me show you the demo so i'm going to uh, first set this value right so here we are using this test underscore environment right so i'm going to say like test underscore uh, sorry uh, test underscore environment equal to test like what is the environment name we are going to use the test name now then followed by npm test okay so this will uh, take all the keys and value from the test environment okay so here you can see like we got let go dot in and if you go and check the console uh, probably you can see like we got this like uh test dot admin and test dot password as well right now here i'm going to select test environment equal to let's say that it's going to be my uh prod and then if i say like npm test it's going to take the data from the prod environment okay so the script will fail now but we can see the values in the console log okay so here you can select script got fail uh, and let me close this yeah, and if i go up you can select prod dot admin prod dot password prod dot let go dot in okay that's it very very simple thing okay now one more thing last concept we are going to learn here okay so mostly we don't have to say like execute uh i mean test underscore environment equal to test then for by mpm test right so usually we run it from the package dot json right so if i try to give the same here like uh test sorry not here here test underscore env equal to test let's go with the development this time meant then followed by uh, if the spelling is correct yeah it's correct 
then for the npx playwright test right now if i try to run like npm test this will fail actually okay uh, so here you can see like test environment is not recognized by as an internal or external command to fix this uh, basically like from the package.json we cannot fetch the dot environment variables or we cannot set the dot environment variables that is why we have this error okay to fix this we are going to make use of this package called cross environment okay so i'm going to install this one now okay and after that here we are going to say like uh, cross dash env and that's it now if i go and say like npm test this is going to uh run it from my test environment file okay yeah so of course we don't have the development so that's why the script got failed but if you see the console log here you can see like we got dev dot go dot in dev dot admin dev dot password okay that's it very simple now let's get multiple things so that uh, we can run for multiple for example here i'm going to say like environment colon test and then brought by environment colon this is going to be my let's say that prod and here i'm going to say like environment colon then followed by dev okay and here also we have to change the same so this is going to be my test environment this is going to be my prod and this is going to be my dev okay so that's it we are pretty much done now if i go and run this for example if i say like npm then followed by run uh env underscore i mean colon then followed by test it is going to take all the data from my test environment the file and then it's going to run similarly we can say like npm run then followed by environment colon prod or the dev and that should absolutely fine you can check yourself okay uh, so that's it this is how we can handle the multiple environments with the help of dot nv and cross nv now let me give you a quick recap i think uh, there are a lot of things here and there let me make it very simple to you okay and of course don't worry about this guy this um, little compile time issue here it should work fine but since this video is all about like more than 15 minutes i will try to make a separate video for this particular topic and it's going to be very simple actually okay so um what we are going to do is recap sorry i'm getting a little confused in here okay so first of all what we have to do is um we have to create multiple uh, environment files okay then we'll have the global setup where based on the if condition we'll choose like which environment file to execute okay so process dot environment dot text test underscore environment and then we are just giving the file path here override true in the sense like it will take it from you the file if the key is not there then it will go to the uh, global thing okay and then we have an environment now some of you might confuse like we can pass this directly in the test file right why we have to give it like this uh, this just to make life more simpler so like here we can get all the process dot environment dot keys and we can store it here and we can use this class dot uh, variable name to get the data so that will be easy okay and of course we don't have to write uh, like uh, this condition in each and every test that is why i'm using the global setup concept or else uh, you can just call this within your each and every test okay that should also work fine but like we have to manage this in all the test file rather we can bring this to global setup and we can make life more simpler okay and that's it i think that's it we don't have much thing okay and we are using this cross dot environment so that we can run from our package.json file has as well okay and i didn't try this in the pipeline but you can give it a try and do let me know in the comments okay if you have any doubt feel free to ask me in the comments or of course you can join our discord server and you can ask me there okay so that's it from my side thanks for watching see you the next one very soon Ta -da, bye bye take care